this is Forsaken Reality here with a integration video. In this video, we're going to be integrating Survival Game Kit version 2 with uh, ballistic visual effects. So, this is a video that's been requested of I me mean, a few times now. Decided I'll, I'd get a few little time to do it. Here's a little showcase of what it looked like at the end. So everything is working. And without further ado, we will get into this. Just gonna pause the video for a moment and load up my project, which is going to be a blank copy of Survival Game Kit version 2 in version 4.26 of Unreal Engine. Okay, now that I'm back, we have a blank copy of Survival Game Kit here. First thing we're going to do is go into our project settings. And in our collision, we're going to add two new channels, two new object channels. And they're going to overlap. And that's going to be trigger, volume. And any trader. And we're also going to import our physics and rendering. I'm going to leave a download to that in the description so you can pause the video and download that. And then get back. Once you get back, you're going to want to go to your physics, import, and to that folder you downloaded, you get your physics and open. The same thing with render, import. rendering and once we do that we're going to close out of our project and I'm going to go to my ballistic visual effects project and I'm also going to open up my project for survival game kit so that now I have it like this basically and I'm in the content folder of survival game kit so I want to go in the content folder of hair so I'm in this and I'll grab the ballistic visual effects and just drag that over I'm just going to copy it just so I like to have a reference backup copy of this just so I don't have to keep recreating it every time I want to do something with it so I'm just going to paste this in here and once we do that, we can open our project back up. So we want to go to here and open up our project. might take a moment because there's going to be compiling shaders you might get a issue with uh, it not displaying for a moment this menu so if that happens you can just wait mine seem to load in properly I have ballistic visual effects in here and okay so we're good to go from here next thing we're going to want to do is we want to, now that we have our project settings and our collision i think it's the physics so you notice you'll scroll down you have a, a bunch of new surface types which is basically all the surface types that are used for ballistic visual effects okay so the first thing we're going to want to do is open up our blueprints and we're going to search for Master Weapon, which is in our Items folder. And once we're in here, 
want to head to the spawn surface, hit surface decal, which is already open for me, I guess. But if you want that, you can just search it up here. And once we are in here, you can delete all of this, I'm pretty sure. might keep this. I'm just going to put this down here. This allows you to see, adjust the screen distance, but I'm pretty sure there's one in the holistic visual effects ones, but we may not need it. So stick that right there for now. I'm just going to select all of this. Sure about that. Delete it. Now we're going to come out of our hit results. Spawn actor from class. So we're going to want to spawn a new surface decal and we're going to search qubit and we're going to want our impact spawn and we're going to right click split this we can either drag out of our hit result there or there's actually a, a variable I created for it which i find a little bit neater to use i'm going to plug this into our hit result here first off And then we're going to break our hit result. And from here, we're going to, we're actually going to recombine this stuff. I thought I'd collapse it, but you don't. Don't make a transform. You could collapse it. You could do that, I guess. So this avoids this node, but I like this node. And for the location, it's just going to be the location. In the normal the rotation is going to be the impact normal and you plug that in you'll act you'll automatically get the rotation from x vector which is what you want and the scale can just stay the way it is you want your impact speed set to 50,000 um Let me just comment that quickly. I'm just going to put this right there. I'll come back if I need to. I'll have to do the testing of it. And that seems to be everything there. Yep. Okay, so then we have this part, spawn hit effect done. We're going to want to open up our master projectile. And in our master projectile, we're going to look for the hit, which should be it's going to search hit. We're also going to need to come in here, but we need to come into our hit and I'm going to come into our spawn, hit surface decal, and our projectile again. Just drag this over here like this, and drag this down. And then we're just going to select everything. We'll actually keep this just in case again. And all the rest of this we can just delete. So now we have our hit results and our function and our, something we might use. Um, we want a spawn actor from class. Cubit, and I'll search up Cubit. And I'm just going to go into here and copy this. Our master weapon, make transform, roll V. I don't know why I did that. That would take me like two seconds to do, but whatever. Just plug in the normal there and then location. And.
That's it for that one. Now we want to go to our hit, which is right here. And we want to get rid of the hit surface sound and the, and the hit surface particle because that's handled by the ballistic visual effects. Just plug that in like that. And I think I can do some testing now just to see what's going on. Oops. Load. Okay, so we got a problem there. Okay. Um. Want to go into our ballistic visual effects. Effects spawner. I want to look for impact results, hit results, I believe is what we're looking for. Yep. And set that to replicated. Just going to pause this. So I found out my problem in your master projectile. Uh, you want to, don't need this. Uh, I forgot to plug in your hit results into your, into the hit result right here. So just want to do that in your projectile and also make sure it's done in your weapon. Markers the default at least. So now we can just gonna pull a few of these meshes into the world. One of them. Hold Alt and you can drag it out and create multiple. You want every time you click Alt and hold it. Also, we'll want to set a material, so lava, dirt. These materials have the hits already preset to them. So the hit materials for them, physical materials, are say you want to set one yourself, or you want to go into your material, and right here on the set physical material, you can simply set whatever it would be. So, for example, we want to get our characters hit, so we want to get to the UE4 mannequin body. And right now it's set to that from Survival Game Kit, which we don't use anymore. We want to just use the flesh and save the material. Now, once we have all that done, I'm just going to load up a second player. And I'll load it up in like this. Hold the weapon. I guess I'll just load the game that I have. 
Let's reload. So our character is not getting hit. I mean the right blood part of it. There's a simple fix for that bullet. Oh yeah, I'll show you the quick fix for that blood. Material set elsewhere. Flashes. Um, if you want to go into your um, master character and your blueprints character this is why you're, you went over your mesh and this is why it wouldn't work here because the physical material set somewhere yeah here it is you can either set this to the regular flesh or just remove it so it'll use the material so load up the game And of course, so yeah, that's both stick visual effects integrated into Survival Game Kit. If you want to set up any more, you remember you can just set them right here. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and so you don't miss out on any more uploads. Uh, don't forget, if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, leave those in the comment section below or join my community discord. Thanks, and I'll see you all in another video.